Welcome back, Rockstars, to our Hardcore Diamond Nuzlocke. Last time, we got our Bidoof encounter right around here, so we're just gonna kind of keep moving. Ooh, I forgot that item back there. We're gonna keep moving forward, basically. Oh, a hair cross would have been so nice. You couldn't have given me that last time. But we're gonna grab this item, and we have a few more encounters, and then we're definitely gonna get to the first gym today. Oh, Carbos! That's worth literally so much money. I'm absolutely gonna sell that. Yeah, I could increase some stats of my Pokemon, but it's like four grand. All right, sell the Carbos, and it's literally $4,900. Oh, my God. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and buy all the Pokeballs. We have 24 currently, so we're gonna go ahead and buy another 10 for that in the Premier Ball, just to make sure we have some good Pokeballs on our hand. Then we can stock up on our potions and whatnot as well. So we'll get eight potions, and then we can spend a couple more on antidotes. We're gonna get two antidotes, and that will finish up literally all of our money. But now we have Pokeballs, so we literally don't have to worry about not being able to catch our Pokemon. So route 203, and let's battle this trainer. So we get up here that we have our cave encounter, and I think we have two more in the the actual town of the gym itself outside of that then we are taking on the gym so let's go ahead and i'm probably not going to level up badoof but it's probably going to be a death bottle in the background don't want to waste experience i want to make sure my pokemon are as strong as possible so we really really want to focus that and we want to try not to over level as well that's a big part of it so i think 14 would be our cap for the first gym we're not too worried about it but i do want to be careful so let's go ahead and let's see if we can finish this off with a vice grip giraffe rig giraffe rig giraffe rig if i could actually speak bye bye buddy Ooh, hard in. you know what over leer i will take it getting our defenses up is really really nice especially because there's no healing so we want to be able to do take some hits overall well no healing in battle is what i mean by that and let's see what you've got three pokemon and you start off with Beldum bubble versus steel should be all right effectiveness should be able to take you down for the most part bye bye little Beldum, and he's gonna live one shot almost almost took him down but that's not a big deal take down and he literally paralyzed himself okay oh yeah because we have our effect spore ability on this guy i gotta remember that anytime someone makes contact with us we have a chance to poison paralyze and whatnot with them i almost forgot that we had that on our kingler i'm gonna switch out to glaceon to make sure glaceon gets a little bit of experience especially with this crowd on coming out let's go ahead and wow you need some better moves you have tackle and sand attack that is literally horrible absolute garbage buddy all right let's get another tack off and please be enough for the crowd on to go down no not quite you can lower our defenses all you want with leer but tackle will finish you off here leaving just one single pokemon for us to take on i right, licky licky take a tackle to the face why don't you oh some solid damage ew lick please don't paralyze us great okay let's go ahead and get another there we go come on one more and perfect finish you off we're gonna heal so we don't have to waste items on that paralyzation and then come back and get our cave encounter oh there is an item all the way back here isn't there that we probably want to pick up oh slack off oh that would have been so good if we could have picked you up oh my god that would have been so incredibly good to try to get him getting a slacking would be so op all right and this item turns out to be ourselves a nice little repel that's all right all right let's go in here and see what we're going to get for our encounter mister you need to stop talking all right that's our rock smash let's see what we get for our encounter in here come on give me something give me something give me something there we go okay what are we gonna get give me it is a ho ho oh my god there's no way there's no way there's no way we're gonna capture this thing okay to start off with we're gonna hit sand attack because i don't want him to hit his shots and uh yep there's whirlwind okay yep that so there yep there's nothing that we can do about that that's the problem with a lot of the like the gen 2 lugia and ho-hos for legendary birds and stuff they got whirlwind at the early levels and that's it so they just get rid of us or roar you know for like Entei. so we can't literally catch them it's so annoying so we just don't get an encounter there so that's okay we still have two more left before we hit the gym we have the route above the town of orberg in the actual cave or mining area of orberg itself so a little rough that we don't get that encounter but i mean at least we didn't waste a bunch of pokeballs on it that's kind of the big advantage that we got right now plus this is the one of the easier games i think to actually get fossil recovery on so i'm not super Super worried about that as well so we can always get a free pokemon later while in like gen 1 you have to wait to the end of game and gen 2 i don't think it's even there or possible you have to go to a different i think you have to go to gen the region or generation 1 region to be able to use the fossils in gen 2 i think it's kind of ridiculous but this game has it right here in orberg so we can always get it later hey level 12 let's go we want to watch our levels a little bit i'm not really worried about my levels right now Ooh, burmy would have been a bad encounter so i'm going to ignore this trainer for now and let's go ahead and let's go get our encounters oh, i hate that i have to get through all this we'll talk to barry and then we have two encounters to get all right we're gonna heal up real quick and then we are good to actually get some encounters as much as i want a legendary it'd be really cool we don't have the real ability to actually catch them and it would not really as much as it would be worth
worth it if we could catch it it's not worth it right now we don't have the availability with regular pokeballs and no sleeping we it is a little tough so we're gonna go ahead let's get the encounter that's right up here this is route 207 let's go ahead and see what we can get buddy and ooh, we didn't get anything but our berry is a pet up berry i guess i'll take that and we get our encounter which is a nice solid a diggly you know i'll take diggly ground type the trio is pretty solid overall definitely not happy about it i said that wrong definitely not upset about it it could have been better but diglett and duck trio is not that bad overall so we're gonna start with some sand attacks make sure that he can't really hit us and then we can actually go after the pokeball and right, now that we've lowered the uh accuracy so much let's go ahead and let's try to capture this guy dig lit come on buddy please get in the pokeball we could really use you come on one and great are you really just gonna run away like that are you serious okay come on come on little dig lit. please please get in the pokeball and he is not even shaking this is kind of ridiculous okay and come on come on one come on two there we go there we go there we go yes so i know this is technically a you know boy for a diglet but we're gonna name it jesse for jesse j thank you so much for the constant support and commenting on this series and whatnot i thank you everything it's been really appreciate all you guys support thank you guys almost fire 2,000 subscribers by the way we are having a 2,000 subscriber celebration i've knocked it down between two things that i'm doing we'll have an announcement about it soon but let's go ahead and let's look at this guy's battle armor ability pokemon is protected from critical hit which is awesome and he already has a soft sand on him to increase his ground type move so there's no reason to remove that that's absolutely fantastic so now we can head into the orberg mine and get our last encounter before the gym itself which is going to be really nice because we actually have a solid team kind of building up and i will i'm pretty happy with it so far it could be better definitely but it also could be a lot worse and our encounter for this is going to be come on give me something solid eh, eh, i don't yeah, glam me all right i mean there's definitely worse pokemon out there absolutely fudging lootly definitely worse pokemon out there but am i happy with it not extremely um overall i mean it is a better normal type than badoof i think technically overall which is nice so normal types are really good with only a weakness to fighting and ghosts not being able to hit them so not a big big sadness but it definitely could have been better only level six though so we're gonna try to hit him with jesse a little bit hopefully we can get some things in there let's get a scratch off fake out don't worry about it i just need to get some attacks off there we go come on keep it up just get it down oh that was a lot of damage so time to switch out we're gonna go out to lj here once again and get some more sand attacks off and this should give us the advantage and now it can't really hit us easy peasy so now let's go ahead and poke a ball come on glam me out let's go come on come on come on one and two and three 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 yes there we go and this one will be after our boy nate thank you so much for the support on the channel my dude and i really really appreciate it so there we go like i said before when i say all the time if you guys want to be named after a pokemon all priorities come from commenters in the comment sections down below of these videos now let's find the actual gym leader itself and get the items in here i really wish we would have gotten the pokemon down here because this section usually seems to have better pokemon clay doll actually been pretty good overall we found a choice band Ooh, that's a really good battle item to have and wow porygon was down here too that would have been decent better i think i actually would have really liked porygon overall more than the glammy out but that's okay we've got the gym leader and there was also heatrans down here Ooh, baby, that would have been scary, and we definitely wouldn't have gone for it. It would have been too much, but now we can go battle the gym. The question comes down to, do I want to train up the other Pokemon before I take on the gym, or do I just want to go straight into it? I think training up Doug Trio is worth it, but not, or, well, Diglett, I mean, but not the Glammy out and the Bidoof. I think those guys are just probably going to sit in the back for now. So we're going to sit here and train for a minute, and hopefully that will do us some good in levels. We've got our Doug Trio to level 11. That's enough for me. So let's head into the gym. Let's get in here and let's see what our boy has got for us to challenge. You know what? We might as well take on the trainers. Money and experience. Ooh, you're a bit tough. We won. So let's go out to our boy here and let's see what we've got. Tackle. Let's go ahead and see if you can take this bubble to the face, though. I don't think you can. Ooh, baby. Okay, another one. And I'm mean, fine. You want to protect yourselves? I'll just keep up the attacks. There we go. Magnitude. Yes, level 12. My boy. Finally learning a ground type move. Big, big help. 
help right before the gym. Okay, let's see what you've got, Mr. Trainer. Oh, you got a nice little stunky. That's so cute. How about a magnitude with the soft sand? Stab super effective, boosted by an item. There's no way you live this. Absolutely no way. There we go. Glade. I don't like this. Let's hit Astonish, and let's see what do you do next to us. We got a flinch off. I'm gonna switch out just to be a little safe. We're gonna go out to our Kingly, who's a bit more defensive, and let's see what we've got. Leer, defense drop. That's okay. Let's hit a Vice Grip and see what we can do, because I don't think Glade has a whole lot of physical defense, and that's enough to take him out. Let's go. Okay, on to Rork, the Gemini Leader. Haha, <laughs> decided to walk Bradley Rock-type Pokemon. Well, you have no Rock-type Pokemon, because it's a randomizer. Rork, you are going to lose. Okay, let's go ahead, and let's lead off with a Sand Attack here. Let's get Loudred going down a little bit. Pound, yes, he missed. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get a Magnitude off now. Let's see what we can get. Magnitude 6, that's all right, plus our Soft Sand should do a little bit more damage than we originally would hope for. Almost half HP, I'll take that. If we would have gotten a full 9 and 10, it would have been so good. And that's a decent amount of damage. It did about 10, so with a crit or a high roll, we should still be able to live. So we're going to go for one more magnitude real quick. There we go. Magnitude 10 plus a soft sand. Please be enough to finish him off. Let's go. That's my boy. Or girl, technically by name, whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out. We're going to go out to our boy Kingler here. And we're going to hit a vice grip on another little Dratini. It's not much for us to take on a Dratini. Not really. But I do want to go ahead and make sure we don't over level and we want to keep the levels as balanced as possible so there we go easy peasy let's your last pokemon a cascoon how weird that that's your last pokemon honestly in reality okay we don't need to switch out we just got to go straight for tackle in easy peasy i'm just gonna hold the speed up button because we're gonna fly through this i don't think cascoon can really do anything to me it can heal it can heal because of the potions i forgot about that and bye bye Rourke. defeating the very first gym later there we go embarrassing yes it is embarrassing there we go thank you there we go we have finally officially received our coal badge from Rourke. absolutely fantastic we got our very first badge well that finishes up the first town and everything that we can do here now let's let's end off the episode by getting one more encounter before we head over because there's one more town or encounter that we can get from uh, after route 204 there's, i think there's another cave encounter on uh, past the top of jubilife that we can get so let's deal with king galactic right here real quick and then if we go past here we have our i think it's route 204 or five over here but we have this encounter there's a cave right after this we can get another encounter for so let's do this real quick i don't like this setup that we have um we're gonna go ahead and switch out to our boy kingler and let's go ahead and let's hit a vice grip on the sneasel sneasel seems like a bigger deal than the feel overall and there we go we should fly through this battle pretty easily without too many issues there we go one more attack and that finishes everyone off let's go bye bye team galactic now i gotta get through all this dialogue all right so this is where we got a previous encounter so if we go back here and through here we can get an encounter in this ravaged path Ooh, what is this give me this and this is a skull fossil oh so we can actually get a fossil too next episode awesome that's actually really sick is that always a fossil there i don't remember and we got our, a chikorita yes a grass type a starter a really really good pokemon to get i'm so happy about that and i should really really switch out we're gonna go out to our ice type here because we'll resist and we're just gonna hit him with lots of sand attacks just on repeat so he can't really hurt us all right chikorita Chikorita's accuracy is the max lowest. We're going to switch out to Nate, our Glammeow, so we can do a little bit of damage. Fake out on it. Perfect. Now, we'll get a scratch on there as well. Beautiful. I don't think we can do another bit of damage without hurting it too much where he will die. So, we're going to switch out to Kinglet to take some hits. Actually, that's a really bad idea because he's a water type. So, we're switch back out to Glaceon. We're going to grab our bag. And come on, 31 Pokeballs, 32 Pokeballs. We got this. Come on, Chikorita. I would love to have a Meganium on the team for the future. One, two. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on three there we go and yes there we go and we're gonna go ahead and name this pika pika after a long time supporter thank you so much for the constant support across this series and everything so pika there we go in the finish off let's see what ability you have hey we have a full team of six as well and inner focus is protected from flinching which will change every time but that's a great place to end off today's episode if you guys did enjoy leave a like comment subscribe down below and i'll see y'all next time rock stars peace peace